the videos rolling. So we're going to do a, um, a YouTube teaching video uh, about a retropharyn patient with a retropharyngeal abscess. The mom knows he's end up on YouTube. She's okay with it. We're going to mask the, the little girl's face. But um, you're the student working with us. You want to tell us a little bit about the... Uh, Young lady. So Kai is four years old. She would, came in today with history of stiff neck for two days. She's been afebrile. Basically, this started yesterday morning. Mom noticed her kind of being hesitant to turn her neck left and right. Um, she's had decreased PO intake, only wanting to drink some so, uh, liquids, and she's kind of had uh, problems like keeping saliva in her mouth. She's kind of just been drooling. Um, but other than that, she's had no symptoms. Uh, or excuse me, she's been afebrile. Mentioned that, um, and she's just really tender to palpation on exam, so it's not focal, it's pretty tender anterior and posterior. So, a lot of times, you know, people say, Hey, um, meningitis, and she came actually billed as rule out meningitis. Right. So, she was at, yeah, she went to an acute care um, facility first, they sent her here to rule out meningitis. Um, her Brodinsky sign was negative, which is when you flex their neck um, and their hips should curl up uh -huh. and the knee should flex. But and she did, it hurt. It, it did hurt. It, it hurt, hurt to flex her neck. She has obvious, and she almost cries. Right, yeah. You turn, you her, to light palpation. turn her head to the left, turn her head to the right. Yeah, it, and on she H resisted. her tympanum membranes are clear, but um, we were able to like visualize the back of her pharynx, and it's mildly, mildly erythematous, mild, mildly swollen. Yeah. Um, but nothing like no uvula deviation. It looks inflamed. No, yeah. Yeah. Um, we're getting the official read of the CT scan, but it looks like a retropharyngeal abscess right, on absolutely. my on my read. Hey, sweetie, can you? I'd like you to just try and and turn your head as far as you can, but if it hurts, you stop. Can okay. You do this? Look over at mom, just just by. Can you look over me? See, she's turning her whole body. Yeah. All right. Can you look at the door? Can you look at the door? See how see how tightly she holds her uh, her head. Can you turn her, to the door. Yeah. Can you look straight. And mom also noticed she's not been speaking as much as normal. Um, this is much less than she usually. Does she have like a hot potato voice? I mean, does it sound like muffled voice? No, no not at all. Now. Maybe She's now is what we're saying. Like yeah. So it does yeah, sound like she doesn't keep her mouth open like that. Either. Yeah. So it does it does sound a little muffled right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well thank you so much. And like I said, I'll mask her face, but uh we'll we will uh this is I think this is very useful from a educational perspective because uh there are patients out there that present with stiff neck and people oh she's just got a bad she's got a bad sore throat. And, and they missed the, the potential is for missing something serious like a retropharyngeal abscess that can, that can actually uh, dissect down into the mediastinum or rupture and, and cause airway compromise. So, well, thanks for letting us do this video.